we have a parking pass, please? Sure. Thank you have a map of the lake? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you guess? Can you guess what the boys and I are up to today? Can you guess? I gave you hints. I gave you hints. We are attempting to fish again. That's what's happening. It's wilder here. Hi. It's nice that you should join me and I'm glad that you decided to come along. I brought you whether you wanted to come or not. We're at Scoggins. Oh God, it's already so hot. Oh. We're, at Scog We're at Scoggins Valley Park, home of Henry Hag Lake right here. And if I could read a map, I would know where I was, but I don't. I just found out some secret information about the lake I didn't know about. We've been here before and we haven't caught any fish and we're here now and probably will not catch fish or probably catch fish. Let's be positive. Let's be positive. I don't see anybody, you know, reeling them in, but it's all about the activity. Is it Labor Day? I get them confused. Labor Day, Memorial Day, I, they're basically the same, like beginning and end. That's what it is. What do we got going? Are the worms alive? All right, let's see if the worms are alive. Did they mold? Is that? Is that mold? Okay, there's no worms in this one. I see a worm. Oh God, that's no, that's not considered bait. I think that's it for you guys as worms. You know, when we run across problems like dead worms, it's, it's no problem. We thought, we thought ahead. No, we didn't, we didn't. We're going to use power trout bait. It's beautiful. It looks like a unicorn met up with the fishing gods. It looks like Play-Doh. It doesn't smell like Play-Doh though. Directions, I don't know. It's too small to read. I don't think it could get any more exciting than this. I would say that the stress level and that the excitement level is probably <laughs> dare I say, minus two. It's just, that's what it is. There's a little, there's a couple pieces of little bits of history. Gustav Scoggins came here in the 1800s and he married this lovely lady and they had like 10, 13 children. But then he said to her on his deathbed, you'll never have to worry about money. Don't worry, I have $30,000 buried under a tree and then before he had a chance to tell her where it was he died and the thirty thousand dollars is either under a tree or underwater somewhere behind me she had to be really ticked off right there we have some weird energy going on punch <laughs> okay so here's a additional piece of intrigue for the Henry Hag Lake. So back in the 1800s, there was this guy who had a family and his name was, guess what, Henry Hag. He goes, oh, this is lovely. And then his neighbor said, we need water. And he goes, let's put up a dam. But when he did that, he displaced the pioneers that lived here. He went, sorry, you've been here a hundred years. Too bad, sucks to be you. The dam got built and they filled it with water. And when they filled it with water, it covered up an ancient pioneer cemetery. It used to be said back in the 50s and 60s, the kids would say, don't swim in the lake because the spirits of the cemetery are gonna reach up from behind, up, down, up from the bottom and grab you and drag you down into the water. I'd still eat the fish. There's the synthetic food for the, for the, mystery secret fish that live in Hake Lake. Whoa! All right, I buried, better to sit down. 
I buried my, my pole in rocks in case the Loch Ness fish decides to yank it. It won't be able to drag it away. But you know, if it does drag it away, it's okay because I've never caught any fish with this fishing pole. Maybe I just need to get serious. Take some fishing lessons. If you fail all the time and you don't like it, you should go fix it. What happened to my pole? My pole is gone. Guess what? The whole pole is gone. Just like that. It's amazing, Sherry. It had to be a big fish. I don't see it. I don't see it floating out there or nothing. I think a, I think, I think a fish took it. Or the ghosts of Hag Lake. I guess it's time for a new pole. I said that this lake had intrigue. It has intrigue. It has my pole. What time is it, Sherry? Uh, time to go, Gus. I think we're done. I think that we're done. And I think it's safe to say that we didn't catch any fish today. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! But it was a wonderful day. It's a beautiful place. Hague Lake and Scoggins Valley Park. Yeah. It's, it's not too far from Portland and you can come here, you can fish, you can boat, you can swim, you can eat, you can party, you can blow up balloons, you can do anything you want. Have a safe and hilariously, pleasantly happy holiday. See you in the fall, if you make it through the fall. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, shut up, go. All right, goodbye. Later. Could that be the bobber for my pole? Do I want to go in the water from there to there? Hmm.